In these problems here, we're asked if the three sides form a right triangle, and we need to explain our reasoning. So whenever you are asked something like this, you're working backwards from the Pythagorean theorem. If these uh, sets of numbers meet the a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and they make it true, then it must be a right triangle. In the same way that if we have a right triangle, uh, we can use this because we know it's true. So it's just working in reverse. Now the first thing we have to do is figure out which side is the longest because the longest side is going to be our C. We could just go straight to looking at the numbers and try to compare them, but it's actually easier if we square them all first. Since we're going to be working with A squared, B squared, and C squared, might as well square them all and compare the squares and see which order they fall in. So the first one here, if we square it, we have 10 times 10, which is 100. Second one, if we square it, is 36. And the third one, if we square it, is complicated. So let's try to figure this out. We have 2 times root 34 times 2 times root 34. Well, I know that root 34 times root 34 actually is regular old 34. Same way square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. So I know that I can cancel those out and get a 34. So now I have 2 times 2 times 34, or 4 times 34, which is going to be 136. So now that I have squared all of these, which one is the biggest? Well, the 136 is the biggest. So this side is the largest side. I now can plug it into my a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This I will make a squared, this I will make b squared, and this I will make c squared. Does 100 plus 36 equal 136? Why, yes it does. So state if they form a right triangle, yes they do. The reason is because it meets the conditions of the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, one more quick example of that, uh, if you look at number 13 here, if you're squaring all of these, you'd have 122, 47, because 122, or square root is 122 squared, it's just 122, square root of 47 squared is just 47, uh, 14 squared, you might need a calculator for that one, but it is 196. And so what we want to do now is check to see that these values uh, meet the conditions of Pythagorean theorem. This one's our biggest side, so that'll be our c squared. The other ones we can assign either way, so that'll be a squared plus b squared. So a squared plus b squared equals 196. And if we check that, 122 plus 47 is 169. And is that equal to 196? No. So it is not a right triangle. Because the Pythagorean theorem does not hold true for this problem. Good luck.